Hey guys, how you doing? This is your friend Alex and today guys, I want to help you move from Android to iOS using the official app from Apple that is called Move to iOS. I have this new phone. This is the Samsung A20, all right? And this one has Android Pie, so the latest Android version. I want to tell you what you can move from Android to iOS with this app. You're basically gonna be able to move contacts, message history, camera photos and videos, web bookmarks, email accounts and calendars. And if they are available on Google Play, and the app store some of your free apps will be also transferred all right so how can we accomplish this guys first i'm going to tell you that i do have apps that i downloaded here and these are the apps that we're going to move so take a look because this ones we're going to move it to the ios i also have pictures and videos i have a couple of videos this one this one and i have a couple of pictures also just to prove my point that you can move all those also guys we have some um, calling activity recent calls Okay, we have some contacts, we have some uh, text messages also, and all of that we're going to be able to move with this app, and this is the Move to iOS app. So the first thing you need to do, guys, is you need to download this app, you go to the Play Store, and you're going to look for Move to, and this the first result, Move to iOS, boom. So I already downloaded, so I'm just going to open it, okay? And here it says, use this app to copy messages, photos, and more from this Android phone to a new phone or iPad. Yeah, you can do this also on the iPad. Quick little thing, guys. I do have a Google account. In order to download apps on Android, you need a Google account to access the Play Store. So I do have a Google account and it's working. So you will need that to, to make this transition better. Because actually with the Google account, you can move your contacts without any problems. And that's the most important thing you want to keep, guys, your contacts, your phone numbers. So it says, find your code. And where are you going to find this code? It says, when you set up a new iPhone, this is a new iPhone ready to be set up. And we're going to look for that screen that they're asking us, right? The screen is called Move Data from Android. Okay, so we're going to select English, United States, quick start. We're going to put set up manually and we're going to connect to the internet. So you are going to connect to your Wi-Fi and this is the same Wi-Fi that I'm using on the Android device. Just to be clear, guys, once I connect to the Wi-Fi, it said it might take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. It said data and privacy. We're just going to click continue. Touch ID. We're going to just skip this stuff, guys. We're going to set up this later. Don't use passcode options. I'm going to say don't use passcode for now. Okay. And this is a screen that we need to start the transfer, guys. It's called apps and data. So from here, you can clearly see move data from Android. So this is what we need to select to start the transfer. So we select this. So now we're going to check what's going on on here. Try to close all the apps that you're not using, you know, just, just in case. Also, before transferring from Android to iOS, make sure you delete all the pictures that you don't want, all the videos, all the extra stuff that you don't need on your Android. Try to clean it up. You will make the transition better. Let's continue. So you have this, find your code, and it said move from Android, right? So we're gonna click continue. And now they're giving us the code. This is the code that they were asking for, right? So we're gonna click next, and we're gonna enter this code. So it's gonna be 070022. And automatically, the app is going to try to communicate with the iPhone. And we're going to see if this is going to work or not. You know, it takes some time. And actually, Apple has a tutorial on this app on YouTube and online. But it doesn't tell you how to solve the could not communicate problem, which is what I think we're going to see soon, guys. So be ready to see that message. It's really fast. I don't want you to miss it. There you go. Could not communicate with the device. So basically, guys, I was not able to do this because of that error. Could not communicate with the device. So what is the solution, guys? One solution is we're going to go to see our Wi-Fi connection. Connections and uh, Wi-Fi. And here, guys, every time the iOS create a, a code, it's going to also create a Wi-Fi connection. So we're going to identify that connection here. We're going to look for it. And here it is, guys, iOS 39F19. This is the connection that we need to connect, guys. And this, look, this, this went back here. So now the connection is going to be gone or it's not going to work. So you need to, do, you see, it's gone. Because the connection only happened when you can see the code here. So you need to be fast, guys. So we're going to do it again. Move data from Android. Continue. There's a new code and there should be a new connection here. Okay, so we look for it. Uh, 
I still don't see. Here it is, iOS C0976. So we're gonna click on it really fast. We're gonna put the I, so you can see the uh, what you're putting in. And it's basically, you're gonna type iOS, and you're gonna respect, this is uh, case sensitive. Space C0976, connect. Okay, they said, internet may not be available. It's a keep Wi-Fi connection. Don't worry about that. Now you're gonna go to your apps, and you're gonna click keep, uh, you're gonna keep the iOS app, and now you're gonna enter this code, and you need to do this one really fast, guys. 47, so now you connect it, and chances are it's gonna work, and it's working. Move from Android, okay? So we were able to get the connection that we needed, and now it's preparing everything to move. So this time I'm gonna let it run, okay? It's gonna ask you what do you want to transfer, the Google account, messages, contact, camera roll, everything. Click next, and now it's gonna start the transfer, guys. This might take long, depending on how many files are you transferring. In my case, I only have a couple of videos, a couple of pictures, some contacts, some uh, calls activity, some uh, a couple of uh, one calendar, and what else you can transfer, guys? So you can transfer bookmarks. And once we finish, I'm gonna show you, the iOS is gonna ask you to log in to your Google account. It's a transfer complete. Okay, but this, look, still moving stuff, so don't do anything until you see it here too. So some items were not copied, such as purchases, apps, or media, and this transfer complete. So now when you see transfer complete on both screens, now you're safe, okay? And now you just click here, done, transfer complete, continue using the iPhone. It's gonna ask me for an Apple ID. So this is important, guys. How can you gonna download apps if you don't log into an account? So let me log in. Guys, so basically I'm logging into my Apple ID. Okay, so it looks like it's working, guys. Terms and condition, you're gonna agree, of course. You said it may take a few minutes to set up your Apple ID. And then I think it's gonna ask me for my Gmail account. So make sure you also put that one because that's how they find what kind of apps you used to have on the Android device. This is basically the phone contacting the Apple servers, merge with iCloud. Your contacts on this iPhone will be uploaded and merged with iCloud. I said merge, yes. Apple is checking about this phone, it's checking if it's blacklisted, express settings they say, right? I'm gonna put always customized settings. Keep your iPhone up to date, install updates manually, disable location services, set up Siri later, set up later in settings, don't share, standard, and that's it guys. Welcome to iPhone, get started. Now here, probably, they're going to ask me for my Gmail account. Add your Android device apps from the App Store. Yeah, this is important, guys. Add your Android device apps from the App Stores. You need to enter this in Settings. So I'm going to click Settings. You're going to say Add. You're going to add the apps. And for that, you need to log into your Gmail. Okay, so now I on my Gmail, everything is good. And now let's see if, you see guys, all the apps that I used to have on my Android and are compatible with iOS, they are downloading right now. You see YouTube, you see WhatsApp, you see Google, you see the games I, I downloaded. So that's the beauty of it, guys. You can do it manually, but it's awesome that, uh, that with this move to iOS app, it's happening without you doing anything. Now, we're gonna see something, guys. We're gonna check something really quick. How about the calls? Remember the calls? Hmm, it didn't transfer the calls. How about contacts? Yeah, it did transfer the contacts. Look, all the contacts are here. How about text messages? Yeah, look at this, guys. It did transfer the text messages. That's awesome. What else? How about calendars? Yes, it did transfer the calendars. Look, I already have some settings here. It did transfer the calendars, guys. Awesome. All right, what else? Bookmarks. It looks like it didn't transfer the bookmarks. Yeah, it looks like it did not transfer the bookmarks. But again, you can save your bookmarks on your Google account, and then it will be transferred. But I didn't want to save that because once you do that, it's going to track in every single thing you do, all your history. You know, I don't like that tracking thing. Okay, oh, the pictures, right? Yeah, let's see. So here is one, one video. And here yeah, it's working. Another There's another video. Hello, guys. It's working. It's the picture, the second picture, so it's beautiful. It transferred all the videos and pictures as we intended to do so, okay? Good. And I think that's it. Now it's doing all these apps that I used to have on the Android. And that concludes this tutorial, guys. I hope you enjoy it. And now you can see that it's really easy to transfer from Android to iOS. 
And please let me know in the comments if you want me to do a tutorial about how to transfer from iOS to Android because Google, of course, has an app for that too. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your good feedback. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to help my channel. That will help me a lot. And I'll see you in the next video. Have fun. Bye.